Welcome to Late Night Sports Special Episode 18. Uh, we're doing a all-time Red Sox draft. Uh, we're joined by recurring guest Matt Nelson. Thanks for coming. He's in a, um, he's in a yeah. suit today. Yeah, Coming out uh, kind of hot. Draft yeah. night, legends are made on draft night, and people are judged by the suits and the ties that they wear yeah. when their name is called by the commission. <laughs> Too bad I'm on New Jersey. I like the background that you have. It's all Red this Sox. Is my, uh, this is my living room. Yeah, it's pretty like nice. That. I like it. Well, um, so yeah, uh, before we kick this one off, uh, the winner of the basketball draft on our Twitter, which our Twitter will be up right now, uh, was Connor. Uh, he led the way with the votes. I came in second. Honestly, I thought I had the worst team and Andrew came in last place. So stupid. <clears throat> yeah. But I mean, I I'm going to win this one, I think. And that yeah, okay. being said, the draft order is myself, then Andrew, and then Matt. Um, so let's get started. My first overall pick is the best hitter of all time, Ted Williams. Hot take with the best hitter of all time statement, but it makes sense. I would do the same thing if I had the first pick. And with the second overall pick in the draft, I'm taking pretty much the no-brainer number two overall pick, I feel like, and that is David Ortiz. And I will be placing him at first base. He will not be in the D8 spot for me. Okay. Bold strategy. Yeah. yeah. I, thought, I, I have a lot more broader options if I leave him at first base. Right. But that's, that's my idea about it. The first back-to-back -back picks with the third overall pick. I am taking the greatest left fielder in Red Sox history, Carly Stremski. Ah, all right. Maddie, two picks with the second pick. <laughs> and with the fourth overall pick, I am going to claim Nomar Garcia Parra. No! <laughs> Nomar. That's my second pick. I was hoping no one took that. There isn't that much uh, shortstop depth in Red Sox history. That was the only one that I was, like, seriously considering. That pisses me off. Hey, I you still have, knew one of you was going to take him, so I had to, I had to move. That's, hey, you still have uh, Marco Scudero on the board. Yeah, okay. Not touching him. All right. Uh, all right. That, that, that ruined my whole strategy. That was my next pick. All right, that's that sucks. Andrew's uh, draft ro uh, war room is going crazy right now. Oh yeah, I'm pissed. Threw them all um, off. You might have to go with Pokey Reese. <laughs> I'm not that desperate yet. Um, hmm. Uh, this is. Yeah, I'm going with it. Going with one of the best third basemen in Red Sox history, I'm going to take Wade Boggs with my second round selection. Okay. So now it's back to me with two picks. Uh, um, I'm taking a pitcher. I'm going Pedro. All right. Can't hate on it. Um, all right. Then for my next pick, See, I don't want to take anyone too high. Oh, oh, um, oh, this is tough for two things, two reasons. Do I put him in the outfield or do I put him in as a DH? Oh, we, let's make this rule now. Can we move someone later or no? I don't care. I, I would, I would say yes, just because like when Xander Bogarts was drafted, he was a third baseman. Mm -hmm. Third game. Okay. Move whatever you want. All right. So I'm taking um, Manny Ramirez. Manny Ramirez. Okay. You okay. want him for now in the DH position? Yes. For now, I'm going to stick him at DH. All right. That's a fair move. All right. Um, I'm going to copy John with going for a pitcher. I am going to take the three times Cy Young Award winner with the Red Sox. I'm taking Roger Clemens. 
the OG Rocket. Yeah. I need – you took the best pitcher available, but I'm not letting uh, Bill Oopa Loopa try to beat me out for another good pitcher. Well, Mall Cop, I will be taking the guy I'm sure is on your catcher list. Uh, with what are we on now? The sixth overall pick. Seventh. No, seventh. Sixth. Sixth. Seventh overall. Seventh overall pick. I will take Jason Veritek. Oh, that's Ooh. high. That's not what I was looking there. That's, that's wicked high. high for tech. I'm not taking that. That's not what on my board I'm at all. Taking, I'm taking Tech. And at third base, I will take Johnny Pesky. Okay. I'm not, gonna, I'm not a fan of your draft choices right there. But I am just for the fact that the catcher I thought you were going to take is still on the board. I'm not going to let him last, last there for too much longer. I'm going to make sure. I'm going to read up on it. I will take the Hall of Famer, Carlton Fisk, as my catcher. I I love tech, but I mean that's that's too high. high. Too high. My mom my mom cuts his hair, but I mean that's that's high for him. That's a very interesting fun fact. It is, yeah. I was between him and Fisk. Fisk is way better. All right, so this is but, back to me, right? Yeah, it is. What were you gonna say, Andrew? I'll say Fisk is better, but I'll but Veritek played longer. So the captain, man. I mean, I, I have special memories of Tech shoving his catcher's mitt into A Rod's face. Yeah. <laughs> we got to live through that, Andrew. We really did not. Yeah, we didn't. We were too young. All right. I'm going to go and take another outfielder. I'm taking Mookie. All right. All right. You have me scared. You have me scared. I'm not going to lie. Um, hmm. I my my next pick is gonna come in. What of them will be gone after I take it? Um, that person. Do I take a shortstop now, or do I take another pitcher? Shortstop or pitcher? I'm going shortstop just because there's no depth. Give me the X man, Bogarts. All right, I, I'm throwing in, throwing in a towel on the second baseman. Second base spot because all the good ones are gone already. So, with that being said, I'm going to take the best second baseman available so no one else can get him. I'm taking Dustin Pedroia for second base for me. Who is already taken? Nobody. I'm getting the best one available. Oh, all right. Yeah. The best one. Well, mm. it's my pick, right? Yeah, it is your pick. All right. At second base. The Hall of Famer, number retired by the Red Sox. I'll take Bobby Dorr. Bobby okay. Dorr. And at first base, actually, I lied. I'm going to the outfield here. In right field, I'm going to take Trot Nixon. Oh, he was probably going to go with my next next round, but All right. not uh, anymore. Right. I always knew which one of the field was Trot Nixon because his hat was a different color. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take with my – what what round pick is this? I don't even know. My sixth round pick. Oh, my no. dad would be pissed off that he's gone this far down the draft board. Oh. I'll be taking Jim Rice to play left field for me. Uh, to me, right? It is to you, yes. All right, so Manny's going to the outfield because I'm taking Jumbo Dong J.D. Martinez as my DH. You're taking all the new guys. You are taking the old ones. Hey, I've taken – I took Manny. I took Ted Williams. I took Pedro. I mean, that's the easy pick. Ted Williams is a no-brainer. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to think about that. That's too <laughs> How easy. How many other people have hit career 406? No one. Yeah. All right. All right. Now, do I go first baseman or do I go another pitcher? Mm. All right. Very. I'm, I'm, my top spots, I think, are like solid. Don't forget, you put Williams at first base. Me? Yeah. 
I'm in oh. the outfield. Is the yeah? That's what I thought. Yeah. Oh, that's a tough one. Hmm. I'm, I'm not um, saying good. You know what? Give me. Give me. Uh, what's his name? Bloody sock. Kurt Schilling. Schilling. Give me Schilling. Kurt Schilling. Okay. I do like the pick. Uh, that's a good pick. I think I'm going to take another outfielder here. I believe so. Uh, I just got to make sure I'm not messing this up. Baseball reference, help me out, please. Um, heck yeah, I'm taking him. With my seventh round pick, I am going back to the outfield. I don't care where I'm going to put him, but he's in the outfield somewhere. I am taking Fred Lynn. Okay, that's a good pick. I like that. I like that. All right. I absolutely cannot believe that this guy is still on the board. Uh, with my seventh round pick, I will take the OG legend, Babe Ruth. All right, all right. As a pitcher or? Yeah, what, what do you want on that? Pitcher. Pitcher? <laughs> Jeez, hey, he okay. never did – I don't think he ever did anything else besides pitch with the Sox. So. No, he, no, he, did. he did. Oh, he did? Yeah. He did. Mm -hmm. well, I'm going to look at his pitching stats now. I want to see what. Oh, yeah, that was pretty solid. All right. That's first base, I will take oh. Kevin Euclid. Oh, thank you. Kevin Euclid. Wow. That's high. That's really high. Mm. Don't forget, right. not many legends have married one of Tom Brady's sisters. He's yeah, I know. Um, Imagine that family, Gino. That, oh, Gene that kid's cool. not a Hall of Famer, then. Yeah, what are you uh, doing? Uh, all right. I think I'm going to. The Red Sox what? Cup, too, Matt? Wow. Oh yeah, we get we get the the Fenway Stein. Yeah, nice. I like it. Nice, yeah. Gosling's rum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good jokes, good jokes. Um, mm, this is tough. I gotta. I have so many different things going through my head right now. I already know what my next two picks are. I have are. to take it. I want the top guy in most categories, and I'm gonna go with my reliever. Uh, this might be kind of early to take my reliever, but I will go with Colin Papelbon to be my uh, reliever. Happy! Pitcher. Yeah, I want Papelbon. That is All right. mildly high. Yeah, it, it's pretty high, uh, but there's no one else as good as him. I have to kind of fill in my uh, infield here, so I'm going to take a third baseman and a first baseman. I am going with the guy that won the batting title out of the nine spot shares my last name, Bill Miller, but just doesn't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> All right. And then at first base, ooh, this is actually who, – who do I want to take? Do I want to go Mo Vaughn or Nap – has anyone taken Napoli yet? No. 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 All right, give me one second. It's either between Mo Vaughn or Nap. So many good picks left. This is great. I know, there really are. I kind of like that we did this with three instead of four. He seems going to be Yeah, stacked. more people would, would complicate the depth. Yeah, well, yeah we big time. More. I mean, there's no depth at shortstop. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, 126 seasons, and there's, like, no depth that short. Yeah, really terrible. tanking either. Um, That's why I picked early, my guy. You know, I was dead set on going Mo Vaughn. But, I mean, that 13 team, the first World Series that I can remember. You know what? I, I'm keeping – I'm going with my gut. I'm keeping Mo Vaughn here. Okay. I don't know why I didn't pick this guy earlier. 
but this guy it's so versatile I can use him as because this guy played first base, third base, and catcher. And he played in the 1920s and 30s. I'm taking Jimmy Fox. Ah, uh, yeah. At what position? Um, I currently do not have a DH, and I have everything else, so I'm going to move him to DH first. But that might change with how I decide how I'm going to do this. Yeah, actually, it has to be. Actually, no. I'm putting him at first base. I'm moving uh, David Ortiz into the DH spot. I told you that you were going to end up having him there. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I'd rather have a. I don't know, I'll trust him a defensively there. All right, to round out my batting order. In center field, I will take the greatest defensive center fielder to ever play the game, Jackie Bradley, Jackie Bradley Jr. What? You're actually taking JBJ. Wow. He's the greatest defensive fielder in the game. He is. I, w- so I wouldn't pick wrong. him. I, wouldn't I would pick not him. pick him, though. I would not take him. Not you do you, though. Yeah, you do you. All right, Andrew, back to you. No, I still got one pitch. He has two. He has oh, two yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. No, I'm not taking him. No. no. I just want to get it back to me. You feel it? Do you, you think your guys will go off the board soon? Possibly. That way? That's why you think? Possibly. Matt, do you have a second baseman yet? Uh, Yeah, I got Bobby Door. Uh, oh, no. You have Door? Yeah. He's going to be one of my next picks. He's no. been drafted a long time ago. Uh, With my next pick, I'm going to take. Yet another legend, Cy Young. Damn it. That's who I had next. I was so – you know what? Screw you. Most losses ever. The fact. The best pitcher in the league's trophy is named after him. He did something right. Yeah. Yeah, he did something right. I don't care. Um, this is tough. I thought it was not pitching. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with hitting first. Um, to round out my outfielding positions, I am gonna go with Mr. Mueller's John's dad's favorite player. I'm taking Dwight Evans. Yeah, I saw that kind of coming. All right, so it's back to me, right? Yeah. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna take my reliever which is going to be a closer i'm gonna take the best closer the red sox have ever had period i'm taking koji thank you i thought you i thought you were thinking something else and i i might have lost it oh what who are you thinking the uh the 04 world series winner What's his name? No, I wasn't thinking L four either. Actually, he never he, he wasn't a closer for the Red Sox. Never mind. Wait, Matt, ha, did you take two Sanger baseman? No. No, Andrew, did you? Nope. I just no. Took one. The only second baseman I've got off the board are Bobby Doerr and Dustin Pedroia. Yeah. Okay. That is correct. Bobby. Actually, why? Uh, don't want to take it. Him in? Oh, wait a second. Um. No one has him. What? Oh, yeah. Who doesn't he have yet? Nah, I'm not going to say yet. Because I think I'm going to take it with my next pick. Um. Hmm. I just, like, messed everything up here. You want to say it? Um, hmm. I also need a catcher. Two no brainers are already gone. Tech and, uh, and Fisk. Yeah, yeah they're already yeah. off the board. Um, uh, I'll probably take a second baseman here because I think my catcher is going to stay around for a little bit. 
I know who's taking him. We're gonna capture that. I know who's taking. Who? Salt of Amakia. Oh no. Ah, uh, really? I was not a fan of him when he was here. No, he's oh, really? Gonna, gonna take Doug Mirabelli. <laughs> Doubt it. Um. All right. I'm gonna go. You know what? Let's go the star at Sanger Base. I'm taking the Brock star. Also known as the most disrespected man in Red Sox history. Who, Brock Holt? Yeah. Okay, so I have a lot of decisions to make right now. Defensively, and they wouldn't give him a regular starting job. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take my bench spot with this guy because I don't know how no one has taken him, take him yet. I have to use him. Actually, wait, did he? I'm going to check. I'm going to see if he played uh, stuff. I will use him there if I have to. Uh, all right, he didn't. I want to see if my other guy did. Did my third baseman, Wade Boggs. All right, sure. I'm, I'm taking one away. No one else is getting him. With my one of my bench slots, I'm going to take Mike Lowell. No, nah, that's a good pick. No one had him yet. I was kind of surprised when I saw that. All right. With my DH pick, I'm going Triz Speaker, who career batted 337. Pretty solid. 12 years. And my next pitcher, I'm going to go with. Oh, I'm torn here. There's a three headed beast that I could pick. I think I'm going to go with Louis Tion. Okay. That's a nice pick, actually. I like Louis that. Tion. All right. So I was my team a couple times. That's me. Now back back down to me. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, I need to start a starting pitcher before all of them are all gone. I'm gonna check someone out. I can make it old again. <laughs> yeah, I'm going old again. I will take Lefty Grove to be another one of my starting pitchers. So, to me now? Yes. Okay. I am going to take Jimmy Fox as Ar- a bench Already guy. taken. What? Yeah, Roy already t- took him. I think, I think a while ago. You're now done no. for repeating a pick. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Well, I need to take a pitcher, too. Um... How many bunch guys? We're going to two bunch guys, correct? Yes, two. All right, so I only have three positions left, it looks like, for me. If I'm, oh, and All a right. manager. And a manager. Yeah, manager. Um, you know, I think I'm going to take Lester. Screw for you. My, Screw you. For my third and final starting pitcher. That's what I wanted next. Jeez. I, I, know, I knew it was coming in the next two or three picks. Yeah, that was yeah. something I was Especially very high Especially when on. you're doing this with, like, like younger, like, kind of kids. Like, we're definitely taking Lester. Um, I cried when Lester left. Uh, yeah, another, they, they botched that one. Yeah, another guy that I cried when he left. Both of these people is when I found out that baseball became was a business. I'm taking a skipper. I'm taking Terry. Oh, jeez. Just because I'm going to be so mad if I don't get him. So That sucks. All right. See, this is like a tough pick. That I'm not sure it is like – it's a well-liked person. Like everyone likes him. I'm not sure if he's like, I mean, he was good, but he wasn't like that good. 
but I'm taking him anyway. Career Red Sox played until he was 44 years old. I'm taking Tim Wakefield to be my no! final pitcher. Damn it, he was going to be my next pitch. Next take. The stats don't really back it up too much, but Cap, you you, you know you already got three starters, right? Yeah, yeah. but I was just gonna Oh wait. Are we, are we just taking one reliever? Well, only one, yeah. Oh then yeah, I couldn't have taken him anyways. No. I mean you could have put him on your bench, but that'd be a waste of Yeah. Time. I thought we were taking uh two relievers for some reason, so I was just gonna put him in the pen. But whatever. Is that making my pick again? Believe so. Is this your final two picks? No, I need I need a reliever, two bench, and a manager. Okay. Um, my reliever. I'm gonna go with Keith Folk. Okay. And my first bench spot will go to Dave Roberts. Okay. Because if he's not on the bench in 2004, he doesn't get <laughs> put in the game to pinch run. He doesn't steal that base. And we're still in the middle of the curse of the Bambino. <laughs> yep. All right. This is, all right this is, I'm getting kind of desperate here uh, for shortstop, but the guy is a Hall of Famer. Joe Cronin, he played for the Red Sox during the 1930s, had many seasons of 100 RBIs, a couple over 20 home runs. I don't even know who that is. I, exactly. I can't, I can't believe that nobody picked Rico Petroselli. That was my next idea I was considering. But. So is it back to me? It is back to you. All right. So I need a catcher, which honestly I'm going to – I think my catcher is going to be the last pick. I don't think anyone's going to take him. But then with my bench spot, going off the Dave Roberts thing, Dave Roberts wouldn't have been able to run if it wasn't for Kevin Millar. I'm going Kevin Millar. All right. Oh, wait. No one's taking him yet? Wait a second. How, how many years have you played with the Red Sox? Ooh. I mean, Cap's got like three or four guys on his team that only spent two years for, with with Boston. Exactly. I I've been making sure they play for the Sox for a long time. That's been a big reason behind some of my picks. Bill Miller was only on the team I think oh three to oh five. That wouldn't work. Same yeah, one. he was there for a short time. I'm all gonna take the guy, but that sucks. I found I thought of someone did not work. Is, is it my turn? I think Cap no, no, no. is still your pick. Wait. I think it's still Cap's pick. Yeah, it, it is. is. It is still Cap's pick, yeah. You took Babe Ruth as a pitcher, right? Yes. You can't, you can't take him as another I'm taking him as – what? How, why no, can't I? You can't take the same guy twice. What? Yes, you can. No, you well, cannot. I, I was going to ask for a point of clarification because I was going to pick Joe Cronin to be my manager. Oh, you can do that. You can, yeah. like, take him – or like Alex Cora and have the year manager. But not for like a position player. You can't have the same position player twice. No, he can't he can't be on two different rosters. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. Damn. All right. Um I'm down to a bench spot and a manager now. I'm down to a bench and a catcher. Um bench and manager. I have to take this guy next. I don't think anyone's taking him either. Has anyone taken Fred Lynn yet? Wicked think, early. I took him yeah. so early in this, yeah. That's what I thought. Um, Uke's gone. Uke is gone, right? Yeah, I took you. <laughs> yeah, something else. Oh, yeah, we were talking about, like, that family that he has. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Um... All right, do I take Aegon? I was considering nah. him. I'm going gonna... for one season, that's why. Yeah. Um, I can't take him like that. 
see, there's so many guys that I want to take, but I don't, my team's like so recent. Yeah. I want some like newer guys. Yeah. I'm so proud of my outfield. Like Jim Rice, Fred Lynn, and Dwight Evans. That's like gorgeous to me. I get I get Yaz, Trot Nixon, and JBJ. Nothing's dropping in that outfield. But you also have a massive hole in your lineup. It's one spot. I mean, top to bottom, my team can smack it. You know, give me the 13 year old. I'm taking Devers. All right. Uh, that's a respectable pick, but not as good. As no one's taken Jacoby Ellsbury yet. Oh, I'll I didn't even think as my him. I forgot about final, him. That's my final bench spot. Will be him. He, he was next on on my list. Really? Yeah. I forgot about him. I was one of my sister's first crushes. Oh my god! I mean, he was he was the very first person to win free tacos for America. Yeah. Yeah. Respect. Oof. He's, he's immortal for doing that. All right. So I'm just on a manager now. And he's from my, what, from what Matt said. Picks, I believe. So I can take Joe Cronin as my manager, even though he's on Roy's roster, right? Yes, yes. you can do that. All right. I'm going to take Joe Cronin as manager. And with my final bench spot, I think I'm going to take – I want to take another pitcher, but I don't. For a bench spot, you want to take another pitcher? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to take Tony Canigliaro. All right. All right, so that leaves me. And then, John, you have one more pick? Yeah, Mr. Irrelevant. Yeah. Well, I'm, I need a manager, and I want my manager – so I'm bringing in Alex Cora, baby. All right. Breathe him in. Gone. Permanently gone. He's getting the Pete Rose. Nah. No way. You can't do that to my manager. He's getting the Pete Rose. All right. So back to me, right? That's it. You the last pick. For you guys are irrelevant. You took your catcher. Yeah, you guys, like, both took my catchers. See, I knew he was going to make it this far. I'm taking... The Wolf, it was the nickname of his beard, taking Rossi. David Ross? Yep. To be your starting catcher. Yes. You know he didn't start for the Red Sox, right? He was their backup. Um, what what did he do in the playoffs? He was nice in the playoffs, but he was the yeah, backup. Yeah, wicked, wicked nice in the playoffs. No, we started yeah, in the like playoffs. that's like saying Steve Pierce is the greatest first baseman. Exactly. He, All right. he had a monster game. Hey, Ross, I, I believe in Ross. He did so good in the playoffs, especially in the World Series, taking him. All right, and uh, we're going to name off our opening day lineup and our starting pitcher. Um, I guess I'll kick it off. Um, batting first for me is going to be Mookie Betts, then Ted Williams, three spot I have J.D. Martinez, Fourth, I have Manny Ramirez. Five, I have the X-Man, Xander Bogarts. Six is Mo Vaughn. Uh, seven is Ross, David Ross. Eight is Brock Holt. And nine is Bill Miller. I hate to say it, John, but out of all the talent this team has had over the years, that team sucks. <laughs> I hate to say it. My opening day starter is Pedro. All right. So, even if it does suck, all they need to do is give them two runs and they're winning anyway. So, I mean, it doesn't matter. Fair enough. All right. Uh, when, Matt, you want to go next? Sure. I've got uh, Nomar Garcia Parra leading off. Uh, Bobby Dorr second. Tris Speaker third. Carl Yastrzemski batting cleanup. Johnny Pesky fifth. Euclid sixth. Trot Nixon seventh. Tech eighth. JBJ ninth, and my opening day starter is Babe Ruth. Nice. Wow, you went with Babe. I went Babe over Cy Young. That was a very tough pick. Yeah, that's not easy right. to work with. And then Andrew. All right. Um, 
My leadoff hitter will be Fred Lynn. Second is Wade Boggs. Uh, batting third is Jim Rice. Cleanup spot, David Ortiz. In the five spot, Jimmy Fox. Sixth, sixth Dustin Pedroia. Seventh, Dwight Evans. Eighth, Joe Cronin. And ninth, Carlton Fisk. And the starting pitcher is Roger Clemens. The Rocket. I'm surprised you put uh, Pedroia at six. I so would have put him at two, moved everyone else down one. But Wade Boggs hey, that's is me. looking freaking nice, so. I had to go with that. All right. So uh, that brings us to the end of special episode 18. Uh, make sure to go vote for who you guys think won this draft. Uh, it'll be up on our Twitter page. Our Twitter page handle will be right here, right over my face uh, <laughs> or up there. Um, make sure to go find us on YouTube at Late Night Sports. Smash that subscribe button. Thanks Give it a Matt like. for coming on. Uh, Matt will most likely be on for when we do the all-time Patriots team. Uh, I think Yaz is going to be on there too, and Andrew's going to be hosting. Um, and until next time, peace. See you.